So you're playing Crash Team Racing race after race and you just can't seem to win. Or maybe you're already pretty decent at the game but you just want to see what you can do to get better or if there's anything you may have missed. Well, have a seat and grab your lump of fruit because I'm about to give you eight tips and techniques to help you drive faster and go farther in combat in this glorious remake of the PlayStation 1 Classic. For more Nintendo Switch news and coverage coming up, please subscribe and remember to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any notifications. Today I'm going to be going over some things you may not know you can do in Crash Team Racing that are going to help you get first place. And then, as promised, we're going to be giving away a copy of the game. So stick around to the end of the video to see if you won, because we're announcing the winner. Let's go! Head Start First things first, you got to boost. This is known. You can actually get a head start by boosting right at the beginning of a race. Just tap the gas right before the light turns green. Sometimes I tap on the red ones too to get my timing down by the time it turns green. Like I said in my Crash Team Racing review, this game is not Mario Kart. Check out that video by clicking the link on your screen above. If you try to start boost like it's Mario Kart, you'll be missing out. You don't want to just tap the gas when the light turns green. Like I said, you need to be tapping that button before it turns green. See, there's a boost meter in this game, and you want it to be at its peak when the light turns green. You want the meter to be red. So after that third red light, get the gas going so the meter will be at the top when the final light comes on. This will give you the maximum boost which you will need. Keep trying, you'll get it with practice. A lot of this game is just muscle memory. Boost always. In this game, you have to turbo boost constantly. And I know you've heard that. And I know what you just heard me say is, you have to turbo boost a lot. That's not what I said. You have to turbo boost constantly. You can't stop. This is a competitive game. Everybody knows how to turbo boost. That's why you have to do it. Everyone does, including the computer opponents. So if you don't, you will get left behind. These tracks are just made for it. Have you noticed? There's always a twist and a turn. Use this to your advantage. Heck, even if there's not a turn, you need to make one so that your cart keeps on boosting so you can keep going fast. This is not Mario Kart. Boosting is not optional. But don't let this overwhelm you. It takes a bit of practice. Open a file on adventure mode on easy if you have to, or do time trials just so you can get your skills down and not be distracted by the competition. If you still aren't sure how to do it, you hold L or R while intentionally turning your vehicle and then press the opposite shoulder button L or R while still holding down that first button. Keep holding down that first button and pressing the opposite button because you can do it up to three times in a row. Boost timing. But here's the thing with boosting, and I've seen a lot of people make this mistake. You have to make sure you're timing that second shoulder button correctly. That's your boost, and if you don't hit the sweet spot, you won't land it. Too many people get too excited and hit the button too early. In this new version of the game, boosting is easier than before because there are three ways to tell when you should hit that opposite shoulder button to boost. The newest and most obvious sign, your tires will glow orange while drifting to let you know to hit that boost button. And after that first boost, wait until you see the tires glow again to hit your second boost. You can do three of these per drift. Don't hit it too early and don't hit it too late. Your exhaust smoke will also turn black to let you know when you can boost. Also, there's a boost meter at the bottom of the screen. You can see it fill up and hit that boost button when it reaches its peak. But I'd rather keep my eyes on the road and just go off those glowing tires. Chain boosts. Another big key with boosting is linking boosts together. Other ways you can boost are by catching the boost pads on the ground and by pressing a shoulder button L or R when launching off any hill, bump, or jump. When you launch off of one of these jumps, you'll catch some air and boost when you land. The more hang time you get, the bigger the boost you get when you land. So try to catch as much air as you can. Chain all of these boosts together and you'll be flying off the tracks. The game actually detects when you're combining them all and makes you go even faster. But if you bump into a wall, it breaks the chain, so be careful. Forwards and backwards. You can change the direction of various items by using the left joystick. Point it forward to hurl a beaker in front of you to throw off an unsuspecting opponent and cause them to spin out. You can also fire a shield forward by pressing A and it will cause an explosion. Shooting a bowling bomb behind you can be super effective too and take care of pesky opponents creeping up on you. This is awesome because they usually don't even see it coming. Get your aiming down and make sure you're not wasting items by pressing ZR to look behind you for a split second before shooting. Oh, and did you know you can detonate your bombs by pressing A and they'll explode wherever you want. 
This is helpful if you don't think the bomb is going to hit, but you want the blast to get your opponents. This also gives me a cool idea. Think about this. What if the game allowed you to make modifiers? So basically you could just say that uh, in this match, we want only missiles. That way every crate has missiles and there's just explosions everywhere. How, how cool would that be? Drop items strategy. In this game, you don't want to just use an item right when you get it, just because you can. Think about that when you're racing. A big way to strategically use your items is to use drop items to save yourself from missiles and bombs coming at you. Got a missile coming for you? Time it just right and drop a TNT crate and it will take the heat for you. The same can be said for beakers. The explosion will hit those items instead. In fact, you can use our previous tip and shoot your bombs behind you to also intercept incoming projectiles. Shake off TNT. When you get stuck with those ticking time bombs, it's not game over. It's just a nuisance. But all you have to do is just keep jumping and don't take too long and it'll fall off and leave you alone, saving you from a harmful explosion. Nice try, TNT. Not today. Wumpa Fruit Frenzy. The last tip I have for you. Collect 10 Wumpa Fruit as soon as possible. This is huge. These fruits can be found hanging out on the tracks or in these crates that are off by themselves. Once you get 10 Wumpa Fruit, your speed will increase and your items will be enhanced. But I don't think a lot of people know exactly how your items are enhanced. Let me explain. Your homing missiles, they go faster. Your bombs, the explosions are wider. Green beakers turn red, slowing down your enemy and either making their cart wobble or randomizing their current item. Green shields turn blue and don't time out. The masks last longer and TNT becomes nitro, which explodes on impact. I recommend dropping these right behind item boxes to trick your foes. So yes, collecting 10 Wumpa Fruit is very important and can be the difference between getting first place and getting last place. Just keep in mind that you do lose your fruit whenever you take damage. Well hey, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope these tips help you. There are a lot of strategies to go over with Crash Team Racing, but I felt like these are the most important tips that everybody needs to know about in order to help you go faster and win more races. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please hit that subscribe button and remember to tap that bell icon so you get the notifications and don't miss a thing. Also, if you want to see my review of Crash Team Racing, hit that first link in the description below. And as always, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Now, as promised, one of you will win a copy of Crash Team Racing for the Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating. I've assigned a number to each person who entered. So what we're going to do is we're going to call GameStop and have them pick a random number. You can save money on your purchase and get the best deals when you trade in your old games, accessories, hardware, Only at GameStop. I didn't know that's the only place you could sell your consoles. Learn something new every day. Thanks for calling GameStop, where you can trade in all your cell phones, tablets, and smartwatches for up to four hundred dollars, even if they're busted. This is Charlie. I'm help you. Charlie, hey, can you pick me a number between one through twenty? Fifteen. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Have a good day. You too. All right, number fifteen. You won a copy of Crash Team Racing. Who's number 15? Let's find out. It is Raj. Raj, you've won a copy of Crash Team Racing. Congratulations. Leave a comment below to claim your prize. And thank you so much, everybody, for playing. And remember, the next giveaway is not that far off. So whenever we hit 260 subscribers, there's going to be another giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching my video, supporting the channel. Thank you for being awesome, and we'll catch you in the next video.